What's up guys? So you want to know everything there is to know about Forza Horizon 2? Well, you came to the right place. So first of all, there is not going to be any screenshots or any gameplay of Forza Horizon 2 in this video because of copyrights and stuff like that. But if you do want to see some screenshots, I will include some links in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. So let's jump into what we know about Forza Horizon 2 right now. Probably by the time this is already posted, most of this information is probably going to be outdated. Uh, but don't worry, I will be doing another video after E3 on Tuesday. So expect another Forza Horizon 2 news video then. Anyways, so the first thing about Forza Horizon 2 is, one, it's real. It is actually happening. We didn't know for quite a while if it was actually a real thing. But it is, Forza Horizon 2 is real, and it is going to be both on the Xbox One and the Xbox 360. That is right, the Xbox 360 is getting a version as well. So apparently the guys over at Turn 10 do listen to their fans. I know a lot of you guys actually were really angry when Forza 5 wasn't on the Xbox 360. I know that based off just the comments I got. So I really wonder how many people actually went and yelled at Turn 10 and said, why don't you make a version for Xbox 360? Well, they actually listen to you and you have Forza Horizon 2 on the 360. It is actually being developed by a different person called Sumo Digital, a company who I've still never heard of, despite you guys trying to help me out in the comments of the last video I did. Uh, they're basically using the Horizon 1 graphics and stuff like that. And the Xbox One version is being produced by Playground, the same people who produced the first one. And they're going to be using Forza 5's graphics. Uh, but apparently there's a big deal with light and stuff like that. They, they really focused on light. If you want to uh, get more of this info, I will include a link to uh, some more info about the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One versions if you do want to see some more info. Anyway, so the second thing is where is it actually going to be? I personally thought it was going to be in Japan uh, because you'd have the mountains, you'd have the big downtown area, but no, it is actually going to be in Southern Europe. So they've actually defined what that is. So that is going to be Northern Italy, Southern France, the Alps, and perhaps Monaco. If they, if they include Southern France, I don't see why they wouldn't include Monaco. It'd be a really cool place to race. Now I'm wondering like, will they actually have the F1 track in there? I don't know. We'll have to see. They haven't specifically said Monaco yet. Uh, but we'll have to see. Maybe by the time this is out, uh, they've already announced said Monaco. Yay, and you've got the F1 track. So I don't really know when I'm recording this, but uh, cross my fingers for Monaco. <laughs> Anyways, another cool thing is going to be weather. If you've been following the Forza franchise for quite a while now, weather has never been in it. Uh, and people have been requesting it for quite a while. And they are finally putting in weather, so I assume rain. So I assume rain day-night cycles, and your normal sunny weather. So, there you go. Another thing that really angered me for the first Horizon, people said, or, or they said, it's an open world game, yay, 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 wasn't actually open world. Because you, when, when you're just driving on the streets, there were these barriers on every side of the wall and you couldn't diverge from those paths. But now, basically what they've said, if you can see it in the game, you can go there. Everything, it is a true open world game. So if you played things like GTA, any of those types of games, that is what it's going to be like for the open worldness of it. Another thing that they've said is Drivatar will be in Horizon 2, so take that as what you will in the races. There are some new game modes, uh, but Her Drivatars will be in Horizon 2, so there is that. Another really cool thing is that there are going to be no lobbies in Forza Horizon 2. So if you've played Watch Dogs recently, I assume that's what it's going to be like. Because if you've if you played Watch Dogs, there's no real lobbies. You basically just jump into someone else's game or jump into their already existing lobby as such. And you just keep jumping from game to game to game without actually sitting in a lobby or loading up anything. Uh, so basically that's what it's going to be like, I assume, from what they've said so far. There are also going to be new cars. There are going to be hundreds of cars, they say. So take that as what you will. 200 to maybe 1,000. No. Pro I, I'm, I'm expecting probably around 400 cars. Uh, with six DLC packs coming out monthly uh, after that to bring it up to around 500 cars, we'll say, by the end of the game. Another thing is going to be there are new barn finds. Half of the cars in the barns now are going to be brand new, so that's pretty cool if you enjoy that. Another thing that I think they realized is that people don't actually use Forza Vista very much, so they decided to remove that. I don't think people actually used it. I, I never used it personally, really. Uh, but there is not going to be any Forza Vista in Forza Horizon 2. And the final very interesting fact is it will be running at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Forza 5 is actually running at 1080p, 60 frames per second. So kind of sad to see that go down. But uh, I guess you sort of need that for the huge world that will be coming in Forza Horizon 2. Anyways, so that is everything you need to know about Forza Horizon 2 as of right now. Like I said, Probably by the time I post this, there's going to be some new information that I don't know of yet. Uh, so I will be doing another video on Tuesday 
after the E3 conference and the Microsoft conference, uh, because I assume they'll be talking about Forza Horizon 2 there. Uh, so I will do another video on Tuesday. Uh, so subscribe for that and stuff and things and like and share and stuff. Anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Not for the soup. <laughs> we'll pretend you didn't see that, okay?